We all make mistakes. Some are small, some are large. But his mistake, born of innocence, fueled by pride, was the greatest and most terrible of them all. Some believed when the prince journeyed to the island of time to escape death, that he returned alone. The amulet destroyed. The Dahaka appeased. The Empress dead. The prince was free at last. But this is not how it happened. The truth is that he chose to save me from my destiny. In doing so, he set me free. And doomed us all. Prince, of all the possible futures, this one held the most promise that something has changed. Do not worry, Kailina. No harm will come to you in Babylon. I promise. Look, we are nearly home. As our ship lay sinking in the harbor, the prince found himself in a city quite different from the one he left behind. The normally busy wharves were now decimated. Blood-spattered awnings and splintered door frames were all that waited to greet him. And the people, merchants, beggars, fishermen, were nowhere to be found. Others had taken their place. Welcome to the Assassin's Creed before Assassin's Creed, aka Prince of Persia, The Two Thrones. You are watching Underplay, where we showcase a variety of games from different time periods, different levels of notoriety, uh, and yes. The prince made his way along the torn and blasted district, haunted by visions from his past. The dark side tavern where he'd spent many late nights yeah. was now reduced to cinders. Babylon's proud armada, which he would often come to greet. Lay cracked and broken, cast to the bottom of the Euphrates. So as you may be able to tell from the uh, control uh, tutorials we're getting here, we are playing the GameCube version of this game. But we're not playing it on a GameCube, we're actually playing it on the Dolphin GameCube emulator. Uh, Dolphin is actually an emulator for GameCube and Wii both, but we're obviously using its, its GameCube functionalities right now. Um, just trying to figure out our controls here. All right, good old platforming brouhaha's. So yeah, it's it's almost impossible to uh, to not notice the similarities to Altair's character design and the prince in this game. Um, it's, these are both by the same studio, so it's pretty obvious that, that there's some uh, some hold over there. 
But this tale is far from over. Mm. Let's see. Where was I? Oh, that didn't work. How do I... Yes, let's figure out how we wall run once again. It's interesting that they are using the uh, the narrative framing device that, um, from the first Prince of Persia game. Uh, that is, uh, of having it, it told Tell like a story. Have time to hear more. You know? Allow me to continue. Okay. There we go. Oh! <laughs> well then. The prince made his way along the torn and blasted district, haunted by visions from his past. The dockside tavern where he'd spent many late nights was now reduced to cinders. Babylon's proud armada, which he would often come to greet, lay cracked and broken, cast to the bottom of the Euphrates. There we go, that's much better. Alright, so we got some guys fighting up there. Looks like the sound is crapped out on us, unfortunately. I'm uh, not really sure what caused that to happen. Could be a problem with the game, could be a problem with the emulator. Whee! Everywhere there are signs of battle. But what of Babylon's guard? Where have they all gone? Alright, so we can do some pole dancing here. Yeah, I love the way you shimmy, Prince. Alrighty. So, I have played Prince of Persia, uh, The Sands of Time, and this is the third entry in that trilogy. Um, and this particular entry is probably regarded by most as the best in the Sands of Time trilogy, and possibly the best Prince of Persia game of all. Um, personally, I really liked uh, the 2008 uh, Prince of Persia entry, just called Prince of Persia. Move towards rail to auto climb. So, how do I do that? Aha! Some really clever navigational challenges in here. I'm really appreciating this. Whee! So yeah, I, I really liked um, Prince of Persia 2008. I know a lot of people felt like it was too much of a departure from the uh, old formula. Um, and that people had really come to like here. Water fountains, yay. Now fortunately, since we're using the Dolphin Emulator, we can create our own save state. So we can pretty much save the game wherever we like. Um, but it's always a good idea to actually save in-game as well. Should I continue from good? This is a fine place to start the tale next time. Now you'll notice when I bring up the pause this menu that uh, it's kind of just an, uh, a brick overlay um, on the screen. We can see a lot more on the screen to the left and right. This was because uh, there was not natively widescreen support for Prince of Persia, the Two Thrones, in the olden times. Uh, Z. Does it not show me? No, it's not locked into that for some reason. Oh, because you tap it, you don't hold it. Okay. Alright, so there's guards I gotta worry about. Good to know, good to know. There's a little ladder over here. I love the degree to which we're uh, really exploring these environments in full 3D. And, I'm, and what I mean by that is not just, you know, a 3D uh, game world. But the fact that we're moving, you know, not just horizontally through levels, but also up and down, vertically. You know, we're climbing ladders, we're jumping up poles, scrambling up walls. We're really exploring the entire every space. Time disaster strikes, I find myself without a proper blade. Still, it's better than nothing. All right, so we have a little quick time kills. Good to know. Can I sneak down and get that guy without him noticing? Or can I steal this guy's sword and make things easier on myself? Uh. 
Well, stealth kills are pretty new for the series. I wonder what happens if I screw up the button press. Can I make that jump? I can totally make that jump. I can at least wall run to it. So yeah, I have played uh, The Sands of Time, which was the first in this particular trilogy. Uh, but I have not played the entry before this, Prince of Persia, The Warrior Within. Uh, and this game um, is a little better uh, received, mostly because a, a large part of it is a reaction to um, some of the changes that uh, from Warrior Within that people felt like were a bit much. For one thing, the fact that it was just like the prince had, had really become uh, almost a, a comically over-mature villain. You know, or not villain. Well, actually kind of was a villain. Um, but he was just like super metal, you know, and uh, it was just blood and boobs every which way. What? Oh, I did press the wrong button. Cool, so we can use some of our parkour moves in combat. That's nice. Alright, so... The usual quick attack, heavy attack, brouhaha that we're used to. Nice. I have a scimitar. Um, anything on here worth noting? Of course, doors are all painted on in the Prince of Persia series. You can't actually use any of them. Oh, oh. There's a guard. Let's see if I can sneak up on him. Look the other way, guard. Nope. He's just gonna stand there. Okay. Let's do this. Wait, I can throw my weapon? Oh. That was dumb. Now I don't have one. <laughs> Oh, but I guess these weapons are kind of disposable, huh? So I, I'm supposed to throw them and pick up new ones. Cool. Alright. Now, Prince of Persia is kind of, uh, or at least this particular series,